Viewpoint is the single operational view for, for, for multiple Teradata instances. It manages not only Teradata, but indeed Aster and Hadoop. For a DBA, it really allows them to see what's going on in their system. You know, why, wh where, where are the bottlenecks on the system? Is the system running well? How many queries are running through the system? It really allows them to see end-to-end -end how the system is performing. One of the key driving principles for Viewpoint 2.0 was definitely design and usability. We, we take pride in, in making a tool that has opened up the Teradata experience to lots of their end users. I think what we, a lot of what we did was around discoverability, so how do features work and how how to know what to look at. And a lot of that came from our, the changes we made to the Add Content menu. So now when you bring up the Add Content menu, it will show you a better categorization of the portlets. It'll also give you a brief description of what each of the portlets does. We've introduced context-sensitive help. So when you launch the help container, it will load the help for just what you're looking at. I, I have a lot of favorite portlets. I think my, my favorite probably is metrics analysis. Metrics analysis for me is one of our simple portals. You can select multiple metrics so you can see how, for example, the number of active sessions applies to the CPU. You can do that across Teradata systems in a dual systems environment. We also allow you to select a metric and then we do what we call a performance envelope, which kind of shows you not just the average but the min and max, because in many cases it's not the average over a time period it gets you, it's where the spikes occurred. So with that visualization, I think it's really simple, really easy and intuitive to use. Rewind is a feature we've had for a while. It was probably our most, the most successful and most game-changing feature we've ever actually released as part of Viewpoint. What it allows a DBA to do is to go back to any point in time and see what was happening on the box at that individual moment. Your DBA, you come in on Monday, there's been a problem over the weekend. How do you find out what that problem was? Previously, you would have had to go into DBQL logs and troll through, and it would have taken you a while to come up with the underlying problem. With Rewind, you can just enter in the time or use the Rewind bar and go back to that specific moment, and, and you would be looking at Viewpoint as it existed at that actual time. So you can step through it in second or minute increments and see what was the underlying problem and really get to the root of your problem really quickly.